What if I told you there is a magic device that can not only turn your iPad into a secondary wireless display, but also enable it to run Mac OS with touchscreen controls. Too good to be true, right? Well, enter Luna Display. What is Luna Display? Luna Display is a $79 adapter that works by either plugging it into your Mac's USB-C port or Display port, and then works through your Wi-Fi network to take the video feed from your Mac and put it over on your iPad. Complete with Apple Pencil support, with keyboard support, and even touchscreen support, for Mac OS on iPad. What's even better is that recently Luna Display received an update for a 3.0 software version that enables what they call a liquid video engine. Our liquid tech ensures stunning image quality and responsiveness on your iPad. In the latest version, Liquid 3.0, we focused on reducing latency and optimizing GPU performance across all of our products. And Luna is making the bold claim that with this update, with a Luna display plugged into your Mac, that the latency between your Mac and your iPad will only be 11.32 milliseconds. So is that claim true? Because if that's true, then this device is kind of magic. So all of this is done by this little adapter that comes in this tiny little box. Just plug it into your MacBook, Mac mini, or iMac. You will have to download some free software on your Mac and iPad as well, but after that, Luna Display is recognized easily as a second monitor for your Mac. So just like that, you have a second monitor ready to go. What's even better is that it supports retina resolution and is optimized for the new sizes of the 11 inch and 12.9 inch iPad Pro with the liquid retina display complete with rounded corners and all. You can drag windows back and forth between each display seamlessly, just like you would on a regular second monitor. Now, I did notice some slight artifacting. It would make some text fuzzy when dragging windows around the screen, especially when you're doing it at a fast pace, but it's not the biggest deal in the world, and it didn't bother me enough. Not only does this work as a display, but you're able to fully touch the screen of the iPad Pro to select, drag, and even scroll using a two-finger gesture. Although selecting with just your finger can be a little bit difficult because Mac OS is not optimized for touchscreen controls. But in that case, you can use your MacBook's trackpad or your mouse, or if you do wanna use it on your iPad Pro, I would recommend picking up an Apple Pencil, which is precise enough to use as a selection tool. And so far, the claim of this low latency, this really responsive second display that works wirelessly from your Mac to your iPad has been working just fine. It is really, really impressive that Luna is even able to get this working and that it's working so well. So one of my essential programs for using on Mac OS is Final Cut Pro 10. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know I got these two big monitors right behind me. And that's because I like to work in a two windowed environment with Final Cut Pro 10. Final Cut Pro 10 does support dual monitors, so you can have different things on each monitor. So say you wanna have your timeline in one monitor, you wanna have your viewer in the other, you can do that with Final Cut Pro 10. If you wanna expand your color correcting tools or anything else that you might wanna customize and just have two different workspaces, that is achievable. And with the Luna display, I can now take my MacBook Pro with me and my iPad Pro, and when I'm out and about, I can set up a mobile workstation that has two monitors. And it just works somehow, wirelessly to boot, if you're on a Wi-Fi network and you're just using your iPad Pro with your MacBook Pro, you can just enable a dual screen experience, you can drag things along from the timeline, you can edit, it works, and I am so impressed with it. And it takes full advantage of that stunning iPad display. The colors look really good on it, it's really bright, it has a retina screen, so the text is really easy to read. It just works as a really great second monitor. Now the real magic with Luna Display comes in when you remove the Mac, turning your iPad Pro into a fully enabled Mac OS with touchscreen controls. And by doing this, Luna Display enables something that I've always wanted to try out, something that I always wanted on my iPad Pro, and that is of course Final Cut Pro 10. I've always wanted this app, I've always wanted Apple to make this for the iPad, and now with Luna Display, I'm able to use it on an iPad and see how it works. So using Final Cut Pro 10 directly on the iPad, I'm able to use the full version of Final Cut Pro. I'm able to drag around my timeline and using the Apple Pencil, it works pretty well. So you can drag and drop clips, you can make cuts, and you can basically do anything that you can do on Final Cut Pro right there on a touchscreen enabled iPad. And that's not it. 
So aside from just having the touch controls on your iPad, if you have the smart keyboard, you can use it as an input for Luna Display. Typing on it between the wireless connection between your Mac and your iPad is super low latency. Look as I strike each key, it instantly pops up and behaves just like a regular keyboard. What that means for me as a video editor is that I'm able to access all of my keyboard shortcuts for a program like Final Cut Pro 10, so I'm able to easily cut clips and more. Now, while testing all of this stuff for Luna Display Out, one of my initial questions was, can I take a game from Mac OS and play it on my iPad? To answer this question, I loaded up one of the most demanding games in the world, the latest, the greatest, the StarCraft Remastered. Just look at those graphics. I mean, this thing runs in 5K, you know. Okay, yes, maybe it has been a dream to play the 1998 hit of StarCraft on my iPad for quite some time now, but you can also enable other games like the StarCraft 2, which is a little bit more demanding than the 1998 version of StarCraft. So to answer the question of can you game using Luna Display on your iPad, Yes, it is possible. Complete with keyboard controls and using the Apple Pencil to select and move around the screen, it worked pretty well. Although I wouldn't recommend playing any super serious matches using this method, I'm still amazed that it was able to work. You could just pair this with a wireless keyboard and mouse even and play from your desktop Mac in another room, and that's pretty awesome. So if you can't tell, I'm pretty amazed by what Luna Display is doing. I can't believe a product like this actually exists, and I also can't believe that it's made from a third party and it works so well. I really expect it, maybe this would be a feature in Mac OS and in iOS that Apple would enable by itself, but it took a third party to make this awesome feature come true. It's also really hard to believe that this thing works so well at such a low latency from a wireless connection. There isn't even a physical cable to cable connection going from your Mac to your iPad. And I've used solutions like that before and they've had more latency than this does on a wireless connection. Not only that, it supports the full display of the iPad with retina resolution, no less. So if you want to use your iPad, not only as a secondary monitor for your Mac, but also use your iPad as a Mac OS client with full touchscreen controls, with full keyboard access. I really can't recommend Luna Display enough. I think almost everyone who owns an iPad and a Mac needs to have this in their accessory arsenal. And I highly recommend it to anyone who has an iPad and a Mac. It is a must buy. All right, everyone, let me know what you think of this magic little device called the Luna Display. Do you plan on picking one up? If you do, I have a link right in the description for you. If you like the video, make sure you give me a like. If you want to see more from my channel, make sure you're subscribed. If you want to support the channel in any way, make sure you check out any of the links in the description, including a link to the merch store or even my Amazon affiliate where you will help out the channel a little bit. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.